Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, this is the third video in our objective to provision a Kubernetes cluster using an external HCD cluster. All right, so in the previous video, we saw how to set up a very simple HCD cluster and we didn't have any certificates. We didn't have any TLS encryption for the HCD cluster. So that was just to show you how it's easy to start an HCD cluster. But this time I'm gonna be using the same host machine, same process, but we're going to introduce a certificate creation and then how we can use certificate in our HCD cluster to encrypt the traffic between the HCD nodes and also the traffic coming from the client. So I've got my host machine um, which is an Ubuntu 2004. I've got Vagrant and VBox VirtualBox installed. It has got 8 CPU and 30 gig of memory. It's, it's not my host machine, it's VM running in Google Cloud. In my Kubernetes GitHub repository, I've added a documentation for this. If you go into Kubadium external HCD and you will see this documentation, simple cluster TLSMD. The previous video, we followed this documentation, just downloading HCD, HCD CTL binary. We create a service and then we start HCD with a bunch of arguments and then uh, we access HCD CTL. We tried how to put how to read, how to delete key value pairs in the uh, HCD data store. But for this video, it's more or less the same process, but there are a few additional steps that we need to do, like creating the certificates, and then the rest of the process is going to be similar. Let's start doing this. Okay, the first step is to generate the TLS certificate. So the, the process is first we are going to create our own certificate authority with a certificate and key pair and using that certificate authority we are going to create further certificates. So each of these certificate and key pair will have the certificate and key. The certificate will be signed by the certificate authority that we created in the first step. And then we will be using the certificate and key pair on each of these HCD nodes when we are starting up the HCD process. But for the sake of simpleness, I'm going to be just using one certificate key pair for all these three HCD nodes. But ideally, you would be creating three separate uh, certificate and key pairs for each of these HCD nodes. But the process is going to be very simple. If I show you how to create one, you could create additional certificates and then certificate and key pair and use it on your HCD cluster. All right, let's get started. First thing is download the required binaries. So we are going to be using CFSSL and CFSSL JSON to create create the certificates. So let me copy that. Let me create a new directory, cd to that directory and let me paste that. So all we are doing here is downloading CFSSL, CFSSL JSON and moving it to use a local bin and if I do ls minus l user local bin CFSSL you will see these two binaries that we just downloaded and the second step is to create the certificate authority so we are at this process now we are creating a certificate authority with a certificate and key pair and we are creating a configuration file expiry we are setting the default certificate expiry to be 8760 hours which i believe is one year 365 days and with one profile and again the expiry is set to one year okay so that, that's our ca configuration which we'll be using down here while we are generating the certificate and key pair. And we are also having another configuration file for the certificate signing request. So here's where you need to specify all your details like country, locality, organization, organizational unit, and the state. And we use the CFSSL gensert command to create the certificate and key pair. Let's copy that, paste it here. That's done. And if I do star dot pem, you will see two certificates. So we've got the ca-key.pem and ca.pem. So that's the private key and that's the certificate. So these are the certificate and key pair for the certificate authority itself. So this one here. So now we are going to create certificate and key pair for the individual HCD nodes. As I told you earlier, I'm just going to create one key pair, certificate and key pair that I'm going to use on all these three HCD nodes just to save some time. Okay, going back to the documentation. All right, so here's the important step here. So it's again the same thing, but we are going to be using the same certificate and keeper for all the HCD nodes. I'm just defining some variables here 
and these are my three virtual machines so these are going to be my three virtual machines for the etcd cluster etcd 1 2 and 3 and these are the ip address if you're going to be using my vagrant environment which is here etcd infra it has got a vagrant file and if you use this vagrant file you will have the ip address 172.16.16.221 222 and 223 but depending on your infrastructure if you're using physical servers or your own virtual machines make sure to replace these IP address and once you do that you create again similar CSR configuration certificate signing request configuration and this is the subject alternate name so here since I'm using the same certificate and key pair for all the HCD nodes I'm including the IP addresses of all my HCD nodes in this same certificate if you were to create an individual certificate and key pair like I've shown in this notes all you have to do is just use one IP address you can ignore these two and also just delete these two so all you have to have in the host field is localhost 127.0.0.1 and the IP address of the etcd node for which you are generating this certificate. And again, these are all the, the other options which you can change. And we use CFSSL gen cert. And here is the important thing. So we are using the certificate authorities key to sign the certificate that we are generating here. All right. So previously we generated this certificate and key pair, which is CA key.pem and CA.pem. And we are using those certificate and key pair to sign this new certificate which we are creating here let's copy this and run it all right that's done and if I do and now you've got etcd key.pem and etcd.pem so that's this certificate and key pair finally copy the certificates to the etcd nodes so what we are doing here is we need to copy this certificate and key pair to the individual nodes because I'm using the same certificate key pair I'm just going to copy this certificate sorry this certificate and key pair to all my etcd nodes but if you are creating an individual certificate and key pair make sure to copy the corresponding certificate and key pair into the respective HCD nodes. So in addition to this certificate and key pair, you also need to copy the CA's certificate, certificate authorities certificate. Otherwise, HCD won't trust your certificate. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just declaring a variable that contains all the IP addresses of my HCD nodes and using a for loop, I'm using SCP to copy the CA certificate and the certificate and key pair of the HCD node that I created. Then copying it to the roots home directory. Copy that. All right, so sorry, before that, I don't have my virtual machines ready. If I do VBox manage list VMs, I don't have my VMs ready. So let me git clone my repository cd to kubernetes and then to kubeadm external etcd and then to etcd infra here's where i've got my vagrant file so i'm going to do vagrant up and wait for a few minutes while the machines are coming up okay so i'm going to pause the video and come back when all the machines have been provisioned all right so all the etcd virtual machines are ready now up and running and i can do vbox manage list vms and you can see etcd 1 2 and 3 are up and now we can go ahead and copy this command that copies the certificate the ca certificate and the certificate and keypad for the etcd node let me go back to my directory where i've got my certificate so make sure to be on your uh, on the directory where you've actually generated the certificate so basically we are copying this one that's a certificate authority certificate and the etcd private key and the etcd certificate and then just copy this command and paste it here password is etcd admin so that's first node etcd admin second node etcd admin third node okay done all right, so we are done with our local machine. So now we can log into all the etcd nodes and we can configure etcd cluster. Okay, for that, I'm going to bring up my tmax because I need to be running the commands in parallel. Let me open up three panes and log into each of them. SSH root at 172.16.16.221.23. Password is etcd admin. Okay, and if I do LSB release, they're all Ubuntu 2004 virtual machines. And now what we're doing is we are creating a directory etc etcd pki and we're going to move all the certificates to the etcd, uh, sorry, etc etcd pki directory. And if I do ls, we should be having all the certificates that we copied from our previous step. And now let's run this command. 
Okay, so that's done. And now we are downloading the HCD and the HCD CTL binary and moving it to user local bin. Cool, that's done. And if I do, we have HCD and HCD CTL on all our nodes. Okay, so now we are going to create the systemd unit file for all the HCD nodes. So I'm just going to copy this. And before pasting it, I'm going to open up a text editor and paste it here because I need to change the node IP. So 221, so that's our first machine. So I can run this as it is. And if you look at uh, the systemd unit file, it's more or less similar to the one that we've used in our previous video without the TLS encryption. But the changes are some of the arguments related to the certificates and also we've changed the protocol from HTTP to HTTPS. So that's 221. We can run this command as it is on node 1. We don't have to change anything. And for node 2, I'm going to change the IP address to 222. Copy that paste it and for node 3 change this to 223 copy and paste turn on the synchronization hit enter okay so we've created our system d unit file and now we are going to reload the system d daemon and enable and start the service okay so that's done and we should be having our hcd service up and running let's verify system ctl status hcd cool our hcd service is running fine all right i'm going to exit out of all except hcd1 all right so i'm now in hcd1 one of the hcd nodes and let me verify if we've set up the cluster correctly. So I'm going to interact with the HCD cluster and see if I'm able to do options like member list and things like that. Okay, so if you look in the options here, it's again similar to the previous video, but we've only used the endpoints in the previous video. But this time we also need to pass in the certificates. All right, let's copy this and paste it here. Cool, that's working fine. And I can also run I can also connect to the individual endpoints. Let's say I want to connect to the second HCD node, which is 172.16.16.222. Sorry, I pressed 22. It should be 222. And basically you can connect to any of the endpoints. So 222, there you go. So you've got the same result. And let's also verify 223. That's also running fine, cool. And let's also do a quick test. Let's say put name venkat okay that's done and let's get this data get name venkat that's running fine and then let's delete name cool and if i do get name we don't have anything okay cool so we've successfully set up our hcd cluster with tls encryption just to prove that it has tls encryption enabled if i just run this command again let me log in to 221, one of the node. And if I run this command, the same command, without the certificates being passed, let's say I'm not specifying these. Okay, so I'm not specifying any of the certificates. And if you do that, it won't let you use etcd data store and it's going to throw some error it says connection error authentication handshake failed because it expects a certificate without a valid certificate you won't be able to interact with this data store all right so if you have these three certificates so i'm in the play directory star dot pem and if you have these three files etcd pem that's the certificate for the etcd node in the private key and the cs certificate and you can if you basically if you have these three files you can interact with the etcd cluster from any machine okay okay so now i'm in my host machine i'm not logged into any of the etcd node even from here i would be able to connect to my etcd cluster but for that i need etcd ctl binary etcd ctl we won't have that okay let's go back to our documentation download etcd yep let's copy that we need to be running this as root because we are moving the binaries to use the local bin copy that let's become root and paste that okay exit out of root which etcd ctl we have that and i can basically just run this command now but it's not 127.0.0.1 i need to pass in one of the etcd node 172.16.16.223 for example uh, okay so basically it's not under etcd pki directory it's on this directory okay 
And there we go. So I'm on my host machine. I'm interacting with the HCD cluster and with the valid certificate and key pair, I'm able to interact with the HCD cluster. Cool. I think that's all for this video. We've got a working HCD cluster. I'm going to keep this as a base for my next video. So in the next video, which is going to be the final video, we are going to provision a Kubernetes cluster and we're going to make use of this existing HCD cluster that we provisioned in this video. All right. So stay tuned for my next video. And if you've got any practice this video, if you've got any questions or if you are stuck in Anywhere, let me know. I'll be happy to help. And um, let's see you in the next video. Bye bye.